Hello everybody and once again welcome to the video. My name is Samuel Shah and I'm a software engineer by profession and I make learning a fun exercise. In this video I'll be teaching you how to move data from DynamoDB into Aurora PostgreSQL using a tool called Glue. So let's get started straight into action. So the first thing that I would like to show you is I have a very simple DynamoDB table which is called dev.users. This has an ID, address, city, first name, last name, state, and text, and certain other, other fields. ID is a, the hash key or the primary key uh, or whatever you want to call, right? In, in DynamoDB, we call it a hash key, right? So I'm going to call hash key, right? So the first step is basically we have to crawl over this uh, DynamoDB table and essentially need to identify the underlying schema. For that, I'm essentially going to use um, glue to do that. So it's actually very easy. All you need to do is copy the table name. You need to click on create crawlers. And here I'm going to say, I'm essentially giving the table name here. If you observe, click on next. Here I'm going to add a source. Source would be DynamoDB. And again, I'm going to copy the table name, which is here, right here. And then uh, rest everything, I'll leave it to default. Uh, I'll choose a IAM role for this. Click on next. Gonna choose the database as RDS. Again, uh, you can choose whatever you like, but I'm just gonna create a new one for you. So we'll say, let's call it learn, right? So here I have a database called learn, right? And here I'm gonna refresh and select learn over here, okay? Uh, rest everything to default, click on next and then click on create crawler. The crawler is created and now what we are going to do is we are going to run this crawler. So I, as you can see, I have started the crawler. It is in the running state. I'll resume once the crawler is complete. So the first step was very easy, right? We essentially made a glue crawler, which is going to crawl over DynamoDB and essentially identify the schema. My crawler is almost complete. Now let's head over to the table. As you can see, this made a table called dev underscore user. And here you can see the crawler was able to identify the schema of the underlying table. So again, these are all the columns that I have in my DynamoDB. The crawler essentially identify the schema. That's great. Part one is great. Now we need to essentially work with RDS or essentially Postgres, uh, Aurora Postgres SQL. So we need to do the same essentially steps with Aurora Postgres SQL. We need to essentially create a table and then essentially identify the schema. So let me show you the steps. Here I made a simple table called public.user, right? And again, these are the same columns that I had in DynamoDB. And essentially, if you observe over here, I did make a table. If I scroll up here over tables, just gotta refresh that. And uh, here you can see I have a table called a user, but I don't have any data, right? So now what we need to do is we need to do, perform the same exercise. So essentially the first step is uh, I'm going to create a connector. So I want to connect to Aurora PostgreSQL. So I'm going to click on create and I'm going to say learn, I'll just call it Aurora connector. Over here you select RDS and then we are using a PostgreSQL. I'm going to do that and simply select the items from the drop down. I'm going to select the database as Postgres, put the password and click on create. Um, I have already done that. I do have a connector called Aurora, as you can see. Now, the second step is we need to create a crawler to essentially crawl over our uh, database called Postgres. Inside that, we have a uh, public, and inside that, we have a table called users. So how do we do that? So it's pretty uh, easy. So here, we're going to call Aurora crawl. Click on next. Click on the data source. Here, I'm going to select JDBC. Uh, here automatically it should come up and this is important here so i'm gonna say postgres slash modulo hopefully i can type this so what this means is basically we are telling the glue that hey when you crawl look uh, create uh, look for the tables inside postgres and modulo means it's a wildcard entry it means if you match any table just you know create create them for me so now i'm gonna click on add rest is easy select I'm gonna select the iam role Click next, select the database. Again, we're gonna use the learn, right? Click on next, click next. Looks good, looks good. Create the crawler. Now my crawler is created and I'm simply gonna run my crawler at this point. I'll resume back once the crawler is uh, done running. So the steps were actually very easy, right? We essentially made a crawler for Dynamo. We essentially made a crawler for Aurora PostgreSQL. And then we essentially crawled and then essentially we 
um, the glue essentially made a um, two tables, right? Yeah, essentially was able to identify the underlying schema. So now the next steps are pretty straightforward. As you can see, if I scroll again, it's under the stopping state. If I go to tables, uh, if I refresh here, I have two tables. One is from Postgres, one is from DynamoDB. Now it's actually, it is a piece of cake. Now I just need to write the ETL component for which I'm gonna use glue. So I'm gonna click on create. And here uh, it is again, super, super easy. I'll remove everything here. So first of all, I wanna uh, read from a glue data catalog. I'm gonna use learn and I'm gonna select my DynamoDB table, which is uh, dev underscore user. I'm gonna click on apply transformation. So I'm gonna convert all of them that. And then I'm gonna choose the target as again glue and I'm gonna select learn. And this time the target is Postgres public underscore user. Uh, just that, and if you see automatically, it made a script for me. I don't have to worry about that. And I can say DynamoDB to Aurora. I'm gonna provide an IAM role. I don't need 10 workers. I'm gonna use five for now. This is more than enough. Uh, and the rest of everything should be good to go, right? I'm gonna click on save. So my job is essentially gonna be saved now. Uh, let me see, am I missing anything? Nope. Uh, looks like there is a small error here somewhere. I'm missing a detail. Let me just make sure. Uh, yep, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. So let's try to click on save. Oh yeah, now it's saving. All right, my job is saved as you can see. Uh, now in the job details, I see all my uh, all my details. Now simply I'm gonna hit the run button, uh, sit back, relax, and once the run is complete, we'll essentially query Aurora Postgres and see if we have all the data. So I'm gonna resume once it's complete. All right, the wait is finally complete. Took a while, but uh, now just sharing my screen. Now I have the data in the user table as you can see. I actually also tried, I was listening to music though. <laughs> I actually also tried with the interactive notebooks uh, just to sort of show you. So let me quickly show you again. Uh, Glue has an interactive notebook as well where you can try stuff. So as you can see here, I'm reading from dev.user. This is essentially a table from DynamoDB, the one that we crawled, right? So we made these crawlers called DynamoDB, you know, let me just expand that. DynamoDB dev uh, user, this essentially crawled and essentially identified the schema, right? So coming to tables as you, as ah, come on, coming to tables, as you can see, there are two table called Postgres public user, which is essentially a table uh, inside Aurora Postgres SQL. And this is the one in the DynamoDB, as you can see the name. So again, fairly straightforward glue job, you know, uh, let me, where is that? Oh, not here, not here, here, yeah. So basically we read the data frame, right? Again, I'm, I'm showing you for a sample just to show you, but I again did through glue. I read uh, the glue data frame from the catalog. As you can see the database name, here is the table name. This is DynamoDB, right? Essentially, um, after doing that, uh, just to show you, uh, I am essentially convert the, converting a dynamic frame into a data frame object and I'm just doing a head on that. Uh, I apply the transformation and then at the end I say, write dynamic frame i'm writing into the table called postgres public user uh, this is the table that was created by glue crawler when we crawled over aurora so if you come to the crawler this was our crawler right aurora postgres crawler we essentially all, uh, also made a connector right um, so here you can see that's my connector and at the end i i do have my data in um, aurora postgres sql so yeah, it is that easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials and if you have questions, list your question in the comments box. Uh, with that being said, uh, if you have any more questions, please put down your question in the chat box or the comment window and I'll try my best to assist. I'll try my best to assist and answer as and when I get time. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming and see you guys in the next upcoming video.